If you're just tuning in, people were describing her near-death experience filming her latest music video for Kerosene, um, in which yeah. she also almost killed her co-stars. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Pop Dust. Today, we are here with Rachel Lauren. I was so excited to finally meet you face to face. I know, yeah. So we've been we've been friends on Instagram for a while, randomly. And, yeah. then, and then your team contacted me, and I don't know if they knew that I sort of knew you. But, <laughs> but, just, but I was like, oh, hey, yeah, like, let's do it. Let's chat. So cool. Yeah, because when I saw it was you doing the interview, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know this. Where are you right now? Atlanta, Georgia, in my bathroom. This might be our first uh, Pop Does Presents bathroom interview. Always in for surprises. <laughs> um, I, I read online that uh, from Atlanta, lived yeah. in New York City for a while, but all of your, all of your Instagram posts are tagged out. Because I do most of my work out there, like music videos, meetings. Everyone's kind of out there right now, um, you know, boyfriend, everyone's there. <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, just kind of spread through, ooh, spread through the coast, so. Very cool. And how has it been since, you know, quarantine and everything? Kind of like the most fun to be at right now because nothing's really closed here. So everything's kind of, you know, at least you can you know, go to the grocery store, or go to restaurants and just, you know, feel somewhat normal. I was kind of going crazy <laughs> just sitting in New York during quarantine. So I was really happy to have this little haven here. New York has been rough. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I mean. Last time I was there, I was like, what is going on with my city? It was painful. It was like painful to see New York in that condition, in that situation, because it's a city that just doesn't sleep ever. So for no one to be out and walking is like uncomfortable. Like this is not yeah, right. We are here. It's a tremendously hot day, but I cannot doubt that it was probably much warmer in Atlanta. It's brutal. I think, you know what though, it's the humidity that makes it so unbearable. I mean, today I think was about 95, 96, but the humidity, whoo, it does make a damn difference when it's that hot. <laughs> Speaking of hot, you have some gorgeous guitars. Thank you. That's actually, that's awesome to hear. I've, um, over the past year, become a little bit of an addict, unfortunately. So, well, fortunately and unfortunately, but it's like, it's, it's definitely a dangerous addiction because they're, you know, they're not cheap. So, um, mm -hmm. but thankfully, I got a great artist discount on this beautiful Gretsch. Um, penguin yeah this is my latest gift from my mom and um yeah and uh, awesome yeah I'm, I'm i'm in love with it a little bit a little bit too much i've, I've i would lick it if i could <laughs> i'm like too obsessed but yeah I love, I love it. it's cool to be a gretch artist now and uh and i got like a lot of new toys a lot of cool mics from telefunken and this awesome capo from G7 capo. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun, even though it's like the worst time ever and COVID's, you know, a bitch. I don't know if I'm allowed to curse. I just did, but um, yeah, it's been, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I've, I've actually gotten, you know, a little more comfortable with playing live by myself because I'm always with the band and I'm always in front of a microphone, no instrument. Very cool. The latest single that you have is called Kerosene. Yeah. Um, for people that are just tuning in and or had listened to um, your cover of The Weeknd there, how would you compare your personal sound to that cover? Kerosene is, it's like, it's like an alternative Lewis Capaldi or or the weekend, or um, gosh, you know, it's really hard to compare because I tried to make it as original as possible while still being in the pop alt feel. Um, you know, I'm starting to dabble a little bit in the old Western kind of vibes as well. It's definitely, it's definitely dark, um, obviously. <laughs> if you've heard this song, you know, you, you think I'm a sociopath. It's definitely like a strange time to be releasing music. Um, yeah. Also, like people could use entertainment, I think. 
and oh. you have the music video coming out, right? It's not released yet. That's why I was so happy you guys. We decided to do this little shindig so I can talk about it because, yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. It took months to, you know, film it because it, it all took place during right when COVID started. So we had to find a way to do it safely. And, you know, a lot of me flying back and forth <laughs> to do scenes. But um, it's uh, very old school, set back in, like, 1940s time, um, 1950s. And uh, it's, it's very movie-like. That's what we wanted to do was something super theatrical. And I'm a dramatic person, so I kind of wanted to embrace that actress side of me. In uh, L.A. mostly, I'm guessing? Yeah, all in L.A. Um, shot by Ryan Sadler and uh, my co-star, Joel Ezra. He's the face of Call of Duty. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm excited to see what people think because it's definitely the most elaborate video I've ever done or put out. It's, uh, it was a lot of work, and it was, um, you know, I've never ha even had a stylist before for a video. So lots of funny stories, though. Learned how to drive. Really? On yeah. For the video? Um, I, they, I didn't have a license, and they put me in a Rolls Royce, like an old, beautiful Rolls Royce. And I was like, Ryan, I hope you realize that I don't actually have a license, and I don't know how to drive. I've never driven a freaking car. Yeah, that was interesting. I almost ran over my co-star. <laughs> so, the that face was... of Call of Duty? Yeah. You I almost was... ran him over? And then he <laughs> would have had to respawn? <laughs> It this is ridiculous. I know. So oh, terrible. I was so embarrassed because I'm like, I'm in my 20s. There's no excuse. And I was I, like, I should drive. And um, anyway, I was such a bad driver that it, during COVID, I decided to learn how to drive. So <laughs> um, after that shoot, I was like, screw it. I got to get a license. But yeah, I drove illegally. Forward to your music video, which might be used against you in court for vehicular <laughs> manslaughter, but whatever. It's a catchy <laughs> song. What can you tell us about the song? What made you write it? I'm into writing real life issues and um, stuff that I've been through. You know, it's cool to do songs that are fictional, but um, I think they come across better when you've actually been through it. So um, I was in a relationship for six years and it was my first relationship ever. Um, started when I was 18. And the guy, <laughs> you know, I thought it was love. I thought I was in love, but it was a total, absolute nightmare. I mean, he's a drug addict, alcoholic, threatened suicide constantly um, as a form of control. He didn't actually mean it, you know. I feel bad for people who are actually suicidal, um, you know, but it was just like a, very abusive relationship and I didn't really know any better because it was my first relationship and I thought you know maybe I can help him maybe maybe I can love him into being you know healthier but I realized that it's not my job to you know heal someone they've got to help themselves before they can love anyone else and um you know I just went through <laughs> like traumatic thing after traumatic thing with him um, you know, was cheated on, all that, and, uh, you know, and so this song came out of it, and it's, you know, even though it's a bit on the bitchy side of, like, I'd rather burn his stuff down than go to therapy, it, it is meant to empower anyone who's going through a breakup, because, um, yeah, even though it's better off, um, you deserve to be with somebody who loves you and appreciates you and treats you well. Definitely a powerful message. I think one that probably a lot of people can relate with. Totally. I mean, I think everyone's gone through one, you know, relationship in their life where they're like, well, dodge that bullet, you know. Also for arsonists, they'll enjoy this song. Yeah. They don't make enough music for arsonists, you know, ever since like, the roof is on fire. You know? <laughs> and then they're like, or like, then, then what? Then we're just left cold, you know? Well, I will be burning things down in this video, so <laughs> yeah. Yes, arsonists will enjoy it very much. Freezing cold in a pool to film yeah. the video, but you're also setting things on fire. Yeah, and what was interesting was 
when the outdoor scene where I am setting things on fire, it's the very end of the video and I've driven him. Well, I can't tell you everything, but we ended up in a, like a desert. It was freezing. I mean, it was freezing. The really? show actor and my co-star was like just shivering. Like, you know, he was shirtless. I was half naked as most female singers are. And I was like, I was just like, we, he and I both were just dying. It was so cold. Um, you know, it was just, it was just frigid. It was so bad. Um, but yeah, we survived. I haven't, you know, spent enough time in the Southern California desert at nighttime, but, and I guess it makes sense because in the desert, like it does get cold at night, but I can almost, it's hard for me to imagine like being around LA and it being cold. This was right before summer too. So it was still when the nights were cold and the days were warm. And, you know, once night, you know, dusk hit, sun was gone behind a mountain. We're like, oh my God, we're screwed. <laughs> you know, we're so screwed. Um, and there was a, you know, the reflectors that they use to catch the sun. One of the, one of the guys working on set had to walk up the freaking mountain to catch it because it was setting and we still had to, you know, make it look, you know, like it was still like during the day. And it was just, it was, it was a funny, it's funny to talk about now, but gosh, that, that was, that was brutal. I, I was freezing. He was freezing. Oh, it was hilarious. I had to like stop my teeth from chattering in between takes. It was so funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. So if you're just tuning in, people were describing her near death experience filming her latest music video for Kerosene, um, in which yeah. she also almost killed her co-stars. And then, and then at one point I was in a bathtub and they were trying to do like a, they were doing fog machines and they set off the whole entire house's fire alarm. And we had already had an issue with the girl that was renting out the place to us. So you can imagine, <laughs> it's just, you know, the pissy comments. It was just hilarious, but it was the loudest alarm. That went off for probably a good hour. Uh, we are started losing our minds, but yeah. Well, you'll see. Yeah, you'll have to see. <laughs> but I, um, I, I have a, I've decided to edit a, uh, like 25 little minute, you know, little documentary of behind the scenes stuff. So once the video's out, I'm gonna post that because it's just hilarious. And there, there is a video of me almost running over my co-star. <laughs> if I rented out my apartment to somebody on Airbnb and then they told me that they were gonna be shooting a music video about arson, <laughs> and then the fire alarm went off, I'd be like a little, a little concerned. I yeah, there was just it was just like a like a fog machine, but you know it wasn't that much fog. And oh my gosh, the the it, just piercing, piercing loud, like so loud. It, and 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 then I started mimicking it and just started driving everyone crazy even more. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> wait, <laughs> and I just kept like doing. Oh it. wow, damn, that was. Well, Watch out, Mariah Carey. This like, fire alarm's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. And I was like, I'm going to drive everyone even more crazy because we're all, you know, we, we all need to laugh about this because it, it was just, it started stressing everyone out because we were obviously running behind at that point. So <laughs> it was a bit of a mess, but it was very fun. Definitely look forward to your music video tomorrow. Yes. Uh, thank you for spending time. Everybody out there, check out Kerosene. It's thank been awesome. Yeah, have a great rest of your night. Thanks. You too. Bye.